Mad Alliance was howling because Joe, aka Matt Joe of C. This is going to be my reaction and review for Marvel's Daredevil Season 3, Episode 10. Kick back, chillax. Let's get it. Don't worry about us, Karen. You should go. Dad, I'm not going anywhere. Listen, Kevin and I will get by. Besides that, you know, it's obvious you're bored here. It's affecting your work. You go out most nights running around with that Todd Neiman loser. Yeah, this is the only person on the planet who actually gives a shit about how I feel. <laughs> He's a loser! I bet she gets it. And what you do reflects back on this family. <laughs> you think that I don't want to go to college? I can't go to college. If I leave here, this place will go under in a week. Dang. <laughs> you just bought a grill that'll bankrupt us. You want to... I'm sorry, but mom used to do everything around here, and now I have to. Can okay, you guys stop? No, you have no clue how to run this place. I run the front, I do the books. Kids, this stop. is ridiculous. No, I'll probably chill a fall. bit. The diner has been failing for years, and you won't admit it. You just keep clinging to it because you think mom's going to find her way back here somehow. Well, if she does, you're not going to be here, so it won't be your problem. Yeah, well, mom hated this place. She hated this whole town, and you never saw it. She loved this place. This was her home. No, she loved you. That is the only reason she stuck around. She felt like she was dying here a long time before she got cancer. All right, that's... You take that back. That's a bit heavy. You should have asked her before you sent that college letter. I'm not talking to you, asshole. Come on, let's just go. You're lucky your sister's hot. Hey, does Bernie know you sell time? Uh-oh. No, this is the... Did you just say? You yeah, you don't <laughs> say stuff like that. Hey, hey, hey. I go to jail too. Is that what you want, Kevin? Just go inside. Come on, just go inside. Let's go, let's go. Please, let's go, let's go. Just go inside, Kevin. Go. Get out! Away from my sister! Yo! Holy God! God. You get away from him, Todd. <laughs> Christ, what's the matter with you? I was going to fix it. I was going to fix it. You ruined it. Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I already lost the bomb. Watch out! Oh, she got lucky. Oh, she got so lucky. If it really went just a bit more in... Oh, man. But he wasn't so lucky. Whoa. I don't want you. One person, an employee of yours, who let you become my friend. Eventually, he was like a son to me. James Wesley. Wow, so he genuinely file. cared about him. He disappeared. He was murdered. He's going to make sure Karen gets... No! When I sent you to the bulletin, it was to discredit Daredevil and the reporter who helped him. 
I didn't know at the time, but Karen Page killed Wesley. Mr. Fisk, if there's something you want me to do, no. Just ask. Mm -hmm. I want you to kill Karen Page. No! She's already suffering enough. Frank. Consider it done. No. I am proud of all of you for coming here despite your fears. And I am grateful to you. Always. For letting me call myself one of you. Even when the night is darkest. Karen Payne! Uh oh. Frick. Holy frick, holy frick frack. Thank God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Come on, Matt, get up. Matt's gonna give it to him now. Oh God! That was brick. He smashed his head through brick. Get out, Karen. Stop! Stop! Holy God! <laughs> Holy freak! Karen for the win. Karen for the frickin' win. What? 
Oh, how? Oh, no. Okay, so... I was not expecting to get Karen's backstory. I'm not saying I didn't want it. It's actually something that I'm glad we got, you know, pretty much a whole episode about, or at least, like, half of an episode about, and it's, the episode's titled Karen, so... I thought it would... I knew it would be about Karen. I just didn't know we would get her backstory, but that's something that, um, you know, people have actually been interested in, uh, you know, like, exactly how her brother died and everything. And I'm probably not going to include uh, me watching much of the backstory in my reaction for this episode just because I didn't really have much of a reaction to most of it. So, yeah. Uh, but the main parts I want to talk about is uh, pretty much right where her brother and, you know, the boyfriend things got hit between them. Also, she did drugs in... She is, like, one of the last people I would expect, like, and thing is, too, we never got her backstory, you know, before this episode. We never really had episodes showing her past, so she's the last person I would think would, you know, be like that, like a party girl and, you know, doing drugs, but she did. She she was even selling drugs, like, it was, she was in it heavy, um... So that's kind of crazy to, you know, see Karen like that. And um, her mom died because of cancer. And, you know, it was hard for her and her family to get by um, because, you know, they just had the diner. It was kind of failing. It was failing kind of even before her mom died. But her mom was, you know, running things. And then after her mom died, um, Karen was running things. So, you know, it was hard for them to get by. The diner was failing, going downhill, and then her dad is here, you know, still just, you know, purchases, purchasing stuff that costs a lot of money. Because of that, she didn't know if she would be able to go to college uh, because, you know, she wouldn't have the money or anything. But I think she was going to go anyway because her brother did something, you know. Um, that's why they were having that meal because she was going to be gone. But things got heated. She went outside and the boyfriend came in. The boyfriend shouldn't upset what he said. Okay, he, like when he said, you're lucky your sister's high. He, that was, no, that was a complete douche move in the first place to say to, you know, your girlfriend's brother. You, you just don't do stuff like that. And I don't think he should have set the camper on fire either, though. That was a bit overboard. But after that, the crap hit the fan completely. Karen shot the dude, the dude beat the dude, the dude, the boyfriend beat her brother with, uh, I was about to say sledgehammer, a crowbar, and they left, but the car flipped, and she made, if the, the car, if the car, if the roof of the car would have crushed onto the ground just a bit more, Karen would have been, her her head, neck, all of it would have been snapped. She was lucky, but her brother wasn't so lucky. And you know, after that, her dad just didn't really want any, anything to do with her. I don't even, if that was, I don't even know how I'd go on. Like, she's, she's tough just for being able to go on past that, you know. And we would never would have known any of that happened if we never saw it you know so she's tougher just being able to go out that would have been rough for me to be able to move on from that you know especially knowing I kind of caused it you know man that is rough and it kind of gives new insight on a few episodes back I remember she called her dad and asked if she could stay with him for a while and he said now is not really a good time um it kind of gives a little more insight onto you know that phone when she called him. He's like, nah, and I don't, I don't. It's not really a good time right now because he really doesn't want anything to do with her right now. Karen was laying low at the church and she was found by Kingpin easily. And from what was said in this episode, 
Wesley was like a son to King Pence. He's like probably the only other person he's actually cared about other than Vanessa. Um, so Dex was like, if there's anything you want me to do, then kind of just, you know, let me know and I'll get the job done. And after he found out Karen killed Wesley, now he wants Karen killed. Uh, Dex went to the church. Thankfully, Matt came. Justin, Matt, he always comes in clutch. He, every time, he always comes just in time. There was another amazing fight scene between Matt and Dex. All the, any and every fight in Daredevil is pretty much, pretty much never disappoints. And Karen was actually pretty bold to step out like that, you know, because, I mean, you don't have to kill all these, you don't have to kill these or hurt these innocent people when they have nothing to do with anything. So, I mean, I can see why she did that. And she was bold to do that. My heart almost stopped when Dex threw the billy club and Karen gasped because I thought it was her. My heart, I mean, I still feel very bad that father died because, you know, he's been there. He's been in the show since season one. So it's kind of sad to see him go. Um, but if it would, my heart almost stopped because I legit thought it was Karen for a second, the way that, you know, they did it with the cameras and everything. Um, and she's actually, so she actually not dead. How did he survive that? Okay. Well, maybe that one. It, okay. It probably wasn't high enough to kill him. It should have been high enough to at least knock him out. I get he has the helmet on. Matt even smashed his head through a brick. But I guess because he had the helmet on, it didn't knock him out. If he didn't have the helmet on, that would have knocked him out for sure. He, he got his hat, his head smashed against a brick. And then Karen knocked him off of the thing. And he was just gone. Okay, like I said, probably, okay, he wouldn't have killed him. I'm just surprised it didn't at least render him unconscious. That's just, even with the suit, that's that's just a shock to me. And even though Matt was, even though Matt prepped for this, after this episode, yes, I can say, I, in my opinion, Dex is the toughest opponent that Matt has faced yet. Even tougher than the Punisher. Yes, the Punisher beat Matt once, but... You know, then Matt stepped up his game and he was able to get the Punisher a good run. But the way Dex handled Matt, and the, I mean, it was a good fight. You know, they both fought hard. But in the end, Dex ended up winning against Matt in the church. And yeah, he's still not ready for Dex yet. Dex is definitely the toughest opponent that he's faced so far. One thing I want to talk about again is the incredible pacing for Daredevil, especially this third season. Like it by the end of, by the very end of the second episode, the main plot, the main story of this season kicked off. We're at, we just, I just finished episode 10 and it's been strong. The pacing has been strong all the way through. It hasn't felt like there's been any slow, episodes it hasn't felt like it started to drag on or anything at all at least in my opinion the pacing has just been incredible i really enjoyed this episode because we got karen's backstory so that was really cool dex is gone his goal is to kill karen but he didn't you know she knocked him off the thing and he's just gone and karen's there with matt kingpin still wants her dead so i'm ready to see where things go from here this is my reaction and a review for Marvel's Daredevil Season 3, Episode 10. Let me know what y'all thought of the video down below in the comment section. Links on my social media will be down below in the description box. Matt, smash the like button. Share this video with anyone you feel to enjoy. If you are new around here and you like what you see, tap the subscribe button to join the Mad Alliance on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. And ding dong the notification bell to be notified of when I upload a new video. Mad out. Mad strong together.